Well, it's Friday afternoon. Good Friday afternoon, beloved, beautiful, precious brothers and sisters. Out here with the ministry all day. It's a hot one today. Got my Tim Hortons coffee. I, I stopped for a coffee break. Hang on, you, you got coffee this afternoon? I, it's so hot in Michigan, you're probably drinking lemonade. What about in Arizona? What about in Chicago? Where are you from? Let me know where you're from in the comment section as I have a sip of hot coffee. I know, I know. Oh, I just wanted to come out here and bring you some encouragement. And uh, I don't want to see you discouraged. There's too much uh, on the internet, people trying to uh, debate and debunk the pre-tribulation rapture of the church and it's all throughout scripture it's even in the old testament as we were trying to show you and uh, last night on our live stream you know you've got those that do not believe and that's okay that's their choice that they do not believe in a pre-tribulation rapture or post-trib and at first they will come on and try to say that uh, the apostle paul wasn't talking about a pre-tribulation rapture. And when you totally give them the proof and the evidence, then they take another uh, roundabout, talk about going up and coming right back down. Now I see today, a video today, they're saying that uh, the apostle Paul is contradicting Jesus because Jesus never said there was a pre-tribulation rapture. So the apostle Paul, where did he come from? And he's contradicting uh, Jesus. So that's what we're dealing with in this uh, day and age, these last days. But I wanted to bring you some encouragement. Join us tonight, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm going to show you some historical uh, documentation from a disciple of Polycarp uh, who writes about a catching away, being taken up before great tribulation and we're going to go on down to even uh earlier events where the pre-tribulation rapture was taught and we're going to go to part four of the thief in the night out here so many people hurting out in flint and i'm discouraged we just to do what we can and it's not enough it's never enough shout out to the michigan militia they are going to be out uh, tomorrow uh and uh, we're going to be passing out uh, cases of bottled water so I want to thank the uh, Michigan militia for coming forward to see the uh, the danger and the struggle of the homeless in the city of Flint if you can find it in your heart to support this ministry we need your help I'll put all the links below again I'll see you guys tonight at 8 o'clock God bless you